All right, brush monkeys, welcome back. We are getting into another uh, palette cleanser video here. It's going to be a real short one. Um, this is a Reaper Bones. Uh, this is from their black line, Reaper Bones Black. And it is a Dwarf Smiter. And he looks like an angry little dude ready to hit somebody with a hammer. So uh, we're going to go ahead and paint him up. I'm going to do him a little differently than I did the Barbarian last time. I've got a combination of uh, contrast paints and regular paints that I'm going to do. Um, his skin, of course, is going to be Dark Oath Flesh again. Um, his beard, I think I'm going to do in Blood Angels Red, but then I think I'm going to highlight it with um, a dry brush of either Rise of Rust. Actually, I think I'll do... I'm going to see how that comes out, but I think I want to do... A dry brush of either Astarath Red or Rise of Rust, or possibly one than the other. See how that comes out. His leather, of course, is going to be snake bite leather. Um, his armor, I think we're going to go with uh, Reaper Master Series Black and Steel with a Null Oil wash over it. And I've got uh, Wildwood for his uh, axe handle. And uh, yeah, his shield seems to be pretty well steel. Pretty much just his axe handle is going to be the wildwood. Doesn't look like he's got a whole lot of other other stuff on there. Okay. And then um, I'm going to go with uh, Balthazar Gold with a highlight of uh, Vallejo Model Series Old Gold for the um, designs on his shield and some of the trim on his armor. Like he's got the same design on his shoulder there. And uh, yeah. Maybe give him that little ring holding his beard back in gold. A little skull on his fan brace there. And then I think I'm going to do the ground in um, Vallejo Heavy Black Green instead of the uh, Dark Angels Green contrast that we did last time. Or actually this guy, I might go ahead and do him, uh, I'm going to do his base in uh, Agaros Dunes contrast. See how that turns out, because I haven't used that. I bought it, but I haven't used it yet, and I kind of wanted to give him sort of a, kind of a rocky, dirt kind of uh, look to his base. So, yeah. So that's how we're going to paint that guy. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get uh, some of those base coats and contrasts down. Uh, and then uh, we'll check back in a little bit with uh, some progress to report. All right. So I'll see you then. Bye. All right. Quick update time. I've got the um, contrast paints painted onto this dwarf. And he's looking pretty good so far. Uh, see, I got snake bite leather for his little leather pouches. That's the Blood Angel's red in his beard. See, Agaris Dunes turned out to be kind of a yellowish brown so I slopped it on a little bit thick wanting it to be a little more brown than uh, yellow and then I got um, wildwood for his axe handle there those rings are going to be uh, gold most likely just to offset the steel of the axe head so I'm going to go ahead and let those contrasts dry now and then I'm going to uh, come back in and paint the regular paints over there over it all the steels and the golds and that kind of thing and uh, and then I'll show you what it looks like with those on there before I uh, wash them with the Nuln Oil and then after I highlight them um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do the uh, armor probably a very light dry brush in Necron compound and then the uh, gold parts will get in addition to being highlighted with the old gold will get a very light dry brush of uh, uh, Golden Griffin here and of course I'll dry brush his beard too while I'm at it but uh, I'm gonna go like I said I'm gonna go take a break and let the contrast dry and then I'll come back and put the base coats down on the uh, what's well, basically mounting to the metals on there because I don't think he's got anything else no everything else I did in the contrast all right so there's my progress, and I will be back in a bit. See you soon. 
All right, brush monkeys, I'm back. And as you can see, I've got all the metallics base coated on the uh, dwarf here. He still looks a little shiny in the light because I haven't uh, done the shade wash yet. I'm about to give him an all over shade wash of Nuln Oil. And then uh, I'll give that a chance to dry and uh, come back and take a look at it. See, the base looks pretty good. The uh, Agaros Dunes base. I may go over that with a little bit of uh, Tyrant Skull. Maybe just dry brush a little bit with Tyrant Skull. Maybe not. I don't know. Haven't decided yet. But uh, yeah, that's what we're looking at. And he's looking pretty good. So we'll go ahead and uh, give him the shade wash, take a break, and I'll come back and uh, show you what it looks like before we start doing the highlights. Alright, see you soon. Alright, brush monkeys, I just wanted to do a really quick little update here. I'm sorry the cam's kind of shaky, but I wanted to zoom in and show off this guy's eyes. Because it's one of the few times I've ever actually painted the eyes on a figure. And uh, I'm just really chuffed with how he came out. And that's kind of hard, a little hard to see, but that's kind of the point. That's why I don't paint eyes very often. But the eyes on this guy came out really good, and they don't look oversized and cartoony. So I'm just really, really happy with how this guy came out. All right, back to your regularly scheduled waiting for the inks to dry. <laughs> see you soon. All right, I am back, and I have dry brushed his beard orange. As you can see, just gives a nice little subtle highlights there. I've dry brushed his steel armor with the little Necron compound. Did his hammer too. Layered the golds on his armor and on the hammer rings there, and uh, on his emblem, on his shield, and on his armor and everything. And I did. The little handcuffs he had on his back um, painted the same as the armor and then dry brushed it just kind of got lost in there so I, I have this uh, home mixed um, metallic black so I painted those just so they'd stand out from them a little bit more but uh, yeah I, as you can see I took them off the handle and put them on a cork so I could paint the base band and uh, he's looking really good I'm probably gonna put one more layer on that base band and then I'm going to go ahead and mat seal him because I'm calling him done. He looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with him. So, uh, again, more Norman goodness next week. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye. Hey, Brush Monkeys. Uh, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like. If you... Uh, want to find out when uh, new videos get posted click subscribe comment below on what you want to see on future videos visit our patreon site for uh, lots of ways that you can support me in doing what I do you can also visit our Instagram and Facebook pages to see all the miniatures that I paint on this channel and see how you can get your hands on one of your own uh, so Thanks a lot for your time, and thanks for watching my videos, and I will see you guys later. Bye.